on the 7,171. I thought she was going to write a letter, but she didn't. She has money in her funds. She was just telling me a heads up. Um, no decision has been made on the copier yet. We're just still waiting for the um, commissioners to finalize a um, I don't know what you want to call it. Printing contract? Sorry. Um, Printing contract. Do you know when they're going to finalize that? Not for a few weeks. So when they do that, they'll <coughs> decide which way she's going on the copier. Well, she has the money. I don't, I mean, I guess I just, my understanding is you guys did their budget. She has it in her budget to pay this. It would be like me bringing my bill for Manitron to your meeting and asking you to pay it. You've already approved. Do we even need a, any action by council? Yeah, that's why I don't understand why she brought it and then it didn't have a letter. So she's submitting an invoice or something that she already has in her budget. Right, that's why I'm not understanding. It'd be like me bringing my invoice for Manitron maintenance that you already approved in my budget. She's not asking for you guys to pay for any of it. Just FYI, maybe. Maybe. Okay. And show that she's going back to 1973, which would <coughs> be a huge help in our office, too. I mean, we still have people coming in doing title work to find deed work for that. So, Fiddler's doing a good job in picking up some of the history in the back, so that could be. If, you, if, I, if she has more questions about that, I'll give it in the next thing. Uh, other thing, the next is, um, let's begin the half of the treasurer's office now, um, is the ordinance. He got a copy of to allow tax papers to make payments directly to Star Bank um, and installments for uh, monthly deductions if they wish to do so, if they sign up. And the ordinance is 2012-03. Um, Patty Ingerman from Star Bank has helped Lisa set up this. Um, if someone's taxes are $1,200 a month and they want $100 a month to come out of their checking, they sign up for this, give their banking information, and um, we star draws it out, puts it in our account. We do have some people who are really interested in this. I know a lot of people have escrows now, but a lot of people are going this way if they have their house paid off, so forth. So they don't have to come up with six hundred dollars two times a year. <coughs> they feel more comfortable with hundred dollars. Is there a fee for this? Nope, no fee. Star helped us out, so actually they gave us the demo to write this ordinance up. Um, we're not the first county that's put it in place. Um, they had it last year, and um, I actually messed it up when I typed it by putting 2011, but... On the ordinance, um, number two, under the first section, mm -hmm. plan. What do you see? Uh, Oh, the very first whereas, number two. That's why I have a two-year-old Thank you. Also, on the back side, we have a correction for 2011. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Entertain a motion for orders number 2012-03. I move we approve uh, orders number 2012-03. You have a second? Oh, sorry. Motion said second. Any further discussion? With the corrections that were noted? Yes. <coughs> Those in favor signify by raising your right hand. Those opposed, the same. <coughs> Do you want to sign one so I have it on my record, please? And I'll get the corrections made and copy it out to you. Request for additional appropriations for 2012. Brandon, do you want to speak? Uh, <clears throat> briefly, yes. This is uh, out of the surveyor's uh, cornerstone fund. It's 
for an invoice submitted by Walker and Associates for perpetuating section corners on county road projects and state road projects uh, throughout 2011. Oh, you have to do this rather than I mean, to make these changes. It's an ongoing thing. Just keep it up to date. <coughs> well, some some corners um, haven't been perpetuated throughout the years, and you know the the surveyors cornerstone fund that comes from. Uh, recording fees was established to uh, have the county surveyors get them back up to speed and um, you know, walkers has been doing this for us they do it as they're doing surveys as well as if we have you know a county highway project or a state highway project um, I get with them and you know have keep them involved in that process so that when the highway project is done, we've got all those perpetuated. So um, it's come a long way in the last five to eight years, I would say. I'm looking at the old maps. So what would we be percentage-wise? Half done or three fourths? Oh, uh, definitely more than half. Uh, probably approaching three fourths. Yeah. So, go ahead, Tom. The, they're collecting enough money to, to keep current on the payments. Yes. Yeah, there's 50,000 in there now. <coughs> okay. And this is what this line item is intended for. It's to Absolutely. You know, it, yeah, it's intended for materials. Um, I mean, some county surveyors have that do their own work have bought trailers and jackhammers and stuff to but it works out pretty well actually for us having someone else do it. If you look at the balance versus what they're requesting in fees, and like I say, as they're doing their own work, they're they're perpetuating corners, and we're really not getting charged for that. I mean, maybe indirectly, but very minimal. It's minimal. Well, if if you get all through them, are well, you gonna have to keep looking at it, or will it just quit? Um, you know, things will come up. Um, but nothing like. Be pretty minimal. It will be very minimal, right? Okay. You know, as as road projects come along, or and all section corners are not on roads. They could be out right. in the middle of a field, and someone could be clearing a fence line and not know that they're taking a section corner out. So there will always be some, but not to the extent that what we're doing now. And this four thousand seven fifty is for all of two thousand eleven. Yes. And with that, you know, Jen and I were talking a little bit, just for future consideration, um, when it comes budget time, you could consider just uh, appropriating an amount so that I don't have to come to you for an additional appropriation. But that's, we can talk about that later. I mean, the note in the budget, because, you know, we have to do the advertising, we have to wait for so many days, and then you guys only meet once a month really needed to spend the money and he knows if we just forecast that we're going to spend five thousand <coughs> there if he doesn't spend it it doesn't go anywhere well, he just needs to put it in his budget <laughs> well I, it, it never had been now i i think maybe when keith was here he at least i think i've seen somewhere in the files that maybe he came during budget time but you know that we I can do it or we don't have to. It, I kind of have to agree with Paula. I think it ought to be in your budget. So we, well, it, it has to be, a, I mean, that is a separate budget, but I can certainly, at budget time, um, present, yeah, for, for 2013, present an appropriation out of the 246 so that I don't have to come back to you. Right, because you're going to know in your position much more than we're going to know, and then we can either approve it or say no. We'll address it as they come, come to the board. Yeah, it's line item 246, so if you look on your, I gave you new funds balance, so it's got 50,000, and we don't have any appropriations out of it, except for this for the year, so. Can you use, 
Is that money used anywhere else for anything in your budget that, that's got like excessive funds in that apparently? Uh, it, it has to be used for section corner perpetuation. That 50000 Yes. It, that's the only place it can be used in your budget. Well, it, it's not, I mean, when you say your budget, I'm thinking 106, the surveyor oh, okay. engineer budget. This is 246. This is like uh, Cume Bridge is 203. That is a dedicated money. Fund. It can't be used anywhere else. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yes. It's okay. like the Recorder's Perpetuation Fund, the Cume Bridge Fund. They are independent of of other funds. It's yeah. not you 106. Could, you could buy a uh, copy machine or any other thing pertaining to your office expense up there out of that money. I, I haven't looked into, into that. Well, I'm just saying, you take 5000 a year out, and it keeps growing, there's 50000 in there. It looks like that will well, be able to be used somewhere, maybe. Yeah, and that, you know, that revenue fluctuates, um, obviously, with, with land uh, transactions. Fees. Right. Well, maybe um, that's something you can look at when you bring that 246 budget. Mm -hmm. You can say this, because, you know, we have the recorders fund mm -hmm. that we can do some other things with, the general reassessment fund, and then that just gives us more flexibility. If you can research that before budget time, where it, that can be used. Determine if it can be used in other locations. Like for a computer or for something that <coughs> pertains to your office. Right. If, if, you know, if you could use money out of that occasionally for something like that, that's just money we wouldn't have to come out of the general fund. Or well, I can remember Keith talking about that when he was here. And, and that, that 50000 if we had to do it ourselves, it would have been a drop in the bucket if we had to hire somebody to go out and do every one of them. It would cost oh, the yeah. county a lot more than that. Definitely. We're just getting a really deal because Walker's doing it as they do other stuff. Right. Brandon, I got. A, I have a question. Uh, with GPS and all the technology we have now, how important is it to have a physical mark? Um, it, it is very important because the way that surveying procedures are and legal descriptions are written. Um, a physical monument is on the highest level of importance. Um, for example, if, if I say, you know, commencing at blah, blah, and then uh, at, a, at a bearing and a distance of 500 feet to the center of the road, but that distance is actually 490 feet, the center of the road would control. There's a list, a hierarchy of controlling factors in surveying, and all legal, de or I'm not going to say all, but most legal descriptions, there's a point of commencement, and usually it is, a, it is at a section corner. And so it is very important that that physical monument, which is the highest level of controlling uh, reference, uh, be there. Um, now with the GPS, what that does is once you have a GPS recording of that location, if it would get taken out, then you have good evidence to reestablish it, and it's easier to reestablish. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can we have a request for additional progress and funds to entertain a motion? I'll make the motion that we approve the request as submitted. We have a second. I oh, second. Go ahead. Go ahead. Any I'll additional? Second. Any additional discussion? Those in favor signify by raising your right hand. Opposed the same. If I could, while I'm front and center, um, I've been given a date for Devon Schumann's retirement, which is April 27th. Um, we're going to need to find a replacement for him. Um, I've been made aware of at least already because the word's been on the street for a while now, but he just gave me a date. Um, I know that there are people interested in that position, some of whom have or are working for local contractors. And so I wanted to get the process started of, of replacing Devon. And uh, I, I, Devon started working on county drains before I was born. so. Mm -hmm. He has quite a bit of knowledge on our drainage system, and I realize that, you know, 
there's no way to transfer all of that knowledge, but I would like to get someone hired at, at least a month before Devon leaves so that that person can be you know, brought up to speed on current projects and you know, procedures and, and uh, at least be able to transfer some of that knowledge. And so getting that process started, I, I spoke with the commissioners yesterday and, and bringing this to you today. You know, we've got some time for the, you know, the formalities, and, but we are going to need to be um, <clears throat> getting someone selected and, you know, getting your approval on <clears throat> this process. And I, I run some rough numbers um, as far as a, a dual pay and or paying two people out of that same position. Um, if, if we did it for, for four weeks, um, it could be a difference of about $3,000 that sometime between now and the end of the year, I would need to come for an additional appropriation on that. But um, Now, do you have the um, Devon's wage? He fit, fit into the factoring schedule, is that correct? So he's yes. in line with our system? Right. And then a new person would come in at higher end? Correct. So that offset should take care of some of the training expense. Correct. Okay. Because some there are a few employees peppered throughout that may not be exactly on that system, and and it's a good time through tuition to correct those deficiencies. Yes, and we did that through the personnel committee when we uh, went through all the job descriptions and refactored okay, everything. Okay. Brandon came to us yesterday, and we felt it was important for him to be here today and talk to you about this because. This this person would need to be on board by April the first to make the to make the month. So since we just only need every couple of weeks or once a month, we thought we needed to get the process started. Brandon, is, is there any uh, licensing or anything that he, this new person would need? No. Okay, there's no I mean, ongoing education or anything like that that he no. he has to attend or anything like that. No, it's on the job training. I'm hoping you ought to be available for calls. Um, he has indicated his willingness to uh, to help us out, yeah. yeah. And if you don't know Devon, he's, he's the greatest, and yeah, that, don't see that as a problem. The county's blessed to have him as long as we have. So. Uh, we, he, six years. He's been on board, and I, I'm certain that in the last six years we've got more done than at least 12 years prior to that. Uh, it's he has been a blessing. <clears throat> Don't know whether we need a motion or just general consensus that uh, to go ahead and, and allow you to start the search process for a replacement. And then a salary ordinance amendment when it actually. Yeah, it depends on who he does. If he starts him in at a higher and then brings him up to base when Devon's gone, you know, with the, that's all going to have to depend on who they get, how they take care of it. Are you going to run an ad? Um, I, I haven't determined that. And like I say, I know that we've, like, because the word has been on the street since last fall. And Devon turned 70 in September, so, um, and that's the reason. You've probably got a half a dozen excavators who would like to have that job right now. Well, uh, you know, there are there are people in that field who are looking for work, I'm sure. That's done it before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and that, you know, whether we do uh, intra-agency notification <coughs> or that's that's to be determined, I guess. I think it's important to open it up. Uh, I, I do too, Paul. I, 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 that's just another case where they say, I see the county, had, they already had plans. They didn't. I, I think it needs opened up. You know, these economic conditions, you don't know what you're going to find out there. We it could may find be a, a diamond in the rough out there. Yep. Yep. So I, I'm, I'm really all for opening it up to everybody. My suggestion is you work with Amy and go through the hiring processes, uh, follow the guidelines and a manual, and, and work that way. General consensus to go ahead with the approval? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Devon, thank you. Yep, and thank you. Thank you.
John just asked me what this was. Um, this is just showing that I did ask for the 